One of the key trends for 2025 will be the rise of AI agents. Um, recently, Sam Altman, founder of OpenAI, founder of ChatGPT, he talked about the five stages of generative AI. And today we're in stage one. We have a chatbot and we can have a conversation with it. But we're approaching level two, which he calls reasoners, where you have problem solving human level conversation. Level three is when it gets really interesting. Then we have AI agents, a system that take actions on our behalf. Beyond that, we're going to have level four innovators where AI really helps in innovation. And the final stage it is level five, where we talk about organizations, where AI can do the work of an organization. Today we're in step one, we're approaching step two. Next year, we're going to see the rise of AI agents. Uh, a term you're going to hear a lot next year is what they call agentic AI, where it's not just a source of information or advice, but where you have an AI system that actually acts on your behalf, that takes decisions on your behalf based on the briefing that you gave the system, um, which eventually will become the ultimate friction solving tool in customer experience. Because I mean, today we have our, our phone, we have all the apps, we have to push buttons. I mean, if you want to plan a trip, you need to go to the, the, the app to get your flights. You need to rent the car. You go to the car rental place. You need to go to several hotel sites or apps. It's still quite a lot of work. Uh, we call it convenient, but actually it's not, it's a lot of work. What if you could together with your chatbot, create an itinerary for a trip. And then you give that to your agent and you say, look, this is the briefing. Can you make me a proposal? Look at some of the cool things that I would like to do there. And then I allow you to make that booking for me. It's like a 24 seven travel agent that is available for you, that helps you. And imagine the time saving that you have here in your personal life. But imagine now that you would apply that in a professional context, what kind of efficiency gains that we potentially gain here. Um, agentic AI, AI agents, they make decisions on your behalf. It sounds far off, but if you look to some of the things that happened in the past few months, you see that this is the direction that the IT world, the tech world is going to. Um, like Google is planning to launch, launch an AI agentic tool called Project Jarvis um, to make decisions on your behalf. Salesforce is working on Agent Force, an AI agent development platform. Apple filed patents for AI agents. CEO of NVIDIA says, I think that my company really soon in a few thousand days will have 100 million AI agents that will help us. So you see how this is shaping up. It's going to change the way how we work. It's going to change the way how we live and it's going to change customer experience completely. It will remove all frictions and it will allow the customer to have more time to spend with the people they love and to spend more time on the things you love to do. So I'm really looking forward to see the rise of AI agents in the next couple of years.